welcome to a new series number 15 so we had some updates in the game and we have a new festival playlist as usually i'm going to show you the forzaton and also the cars that i use for the championship hopefully they help you out so let's have a look at the forzaton as you can see there are two hypercars in this forzaton shop you will need one of those two now i use the nissan r390 uh, it's tuned for a championship so if you do not want to spend money on this credits it's better to get it here otherwise you need to pay like six seven hundred seventy thousand i think it was uh, because hypercars are getting expensive they go in the millions we have uh, biker stuff and also the super wheel spins now let's have a look at the Fordaton. The Fordaton we need to own and drive the 2016 Dodge Viper or the 2015 Chevrolet Corvette. Now I saw on my Discord there are a lot of people that cannot start the weekly challenge because they already own the car, they drive it, they change the car, they drive it and it's not starting. Now it seems that you need to buy the car and then the Fordaton will start for some reason. So if you have that bug or glitch, just buy one of those two cars and the Forzaton will start. Um, I'm in the 2016 Dodge Viper because I like the 2008 Dodge Viper because it's a very good car. So that's why I picked that one. Now here we need to win five drag strip events. Now, as you can see, we also need to win three street events. So my Dodge is tuned for the street scene. Now what you do, you go to the festival drag strip, you put difficulty on new racer and you can easily win with this S1 tune. Um, so you don't need to switch tunes, tunes or whatever. Then here we need to win three street scenes events. Now I always go to the same one and that will be this one, Coastal Charge. That is by far the easiest uh, street scene that you can win. Also, just leave it on new racer and you will win it very easy. Then, what do we need to do? 500,000 skill score. Now, you can put perks on the car, but uh, it only has a multiplier of 5. And as usually, I always go to Greendale strip and I hit everything. I drift and I'll make that route that I always do. And then you can just keep going. Now, it took a little while because it's not a drift tune. Um, but eventually you will get it. Now let's have a look at the championships. The trial. Now there's a problem. I tried it five, six times and it always said not enough players. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe later on tonight or tomorrow I'll try again. Um, so I can't, can't drive it. But I can show you the Ferrari F40. It's actually a very good car that is uh, used in S2. And I like driving that car, I always like that car. So this is a car that we can win from the trial. I hope you guys can do the trial, I can't. So I need to wait till later on or tomorrow. Now what's next? Here we have a showcase remix. It's with the Aerial Nomad um, against the bikers. Now if you do not make a mistake, you can win easily. If you make a mistake, it's gonna be harder to win, but you know the bikers always uh, break at the end now here you can win a horn the haunted house now let's go to playgrounds there is the complete new car that we can win now what do we need very surprising hypercars s2 now that was pretty fun um weird and fun i always said i want to do s2 um in hypercars for playgrounds now i got it and well it was fast and it was very fun so what did i use for that i used the porsche 918 spider it is actually tuned for playgrounds um it's also one of the cheapest hypercars that i found really good and that you can buy in the auto show now what is the car that you can win from that to be honest, I never heard of this car. It's a 2010 Rossion Q1. I never heard of it. I'm going to look it up. It looks like some 
mix car or something, I don't know, but I'll definitely gonna check it. Uh, I do not find it the most attractive attractive car, so but I will have a look what it can do and if it's good. It's like, I don't know, it's a modified Lotus Ferrari, whatever that is. So this is a complete new car that we get and that you win in playgrounds. Now let's have a look at the Summer Community Championship. Uh, this time it was pretty okay. The only thing is it's uh, the last race is, for example, nine minutes. So that was pretty long. Uh, the car that I use for that is the car that I also um, gonna use for the trial. As you can see, I'll show you quickly. The trial has a Porsche 959, Ferrari F40 and Lambo Contash. Now the Porsche and the Lambo are sliding too much for me and also not steering very well. So the Ferrari F40 is for me the best choice. And also you can actually use it uh for the community race so the car that i use are gonna use for the trial and the community race is the ferrari f40 and it's where is it here it is that's the car that i'm gonna use for that Now at the community race, what can we win from there? We win the 2018 ID Zerano. Uh, let's have a look where it is. I'm probably not gonna find it again, but I think everybody knows that car. Um, there it is. So this is a car. I already have three of them. This is the car that you win from the community championship. Let's go to the next one. Battle of the Brands. Um, Chevrolet vs Dodge. It's dirt. S1 900. Uh, I took the car that I basically always take for that. Because I like that car. It's always uh, doing very well. I didn't take the, I take this one, here it is, the Camaro ZL1, it's grippy, it's fast, it has everything what a car needs, it's even good on, I have a road tune for it, it's also very good on the roads, it's just a very grippy, good, fast car. Now, what can we win from that? We win a Chevy, the Nova from 69, and that will be this one, the Forza edition. Okay, let's go to the next. Here you got the Marathon Runners. So here comes the Forza, sh Forza Ton shop. As you can see, the Nissan and the Mercedes are the first two cars that are the restrictions you have the Porsche, McLaren, TVR, and the Lotus. Uh, TVR speed is uh, what is that? Barn find. So there are some cars. If you don't have that, 
you cannot use it. Uh, also, they're very expensive. Um, I think the McLaren was 5 million or something. So I took the Nissan R390 because it's also in the other show, the cheapest, and also in the Forzaton shop. I'll quickly show you the car. Where are you, Nissan? I always have trouble. Oh, there it is. This is the car I used for the marathon. Now, what can we win? We win a clothing modern race suit gray. Now, I'll show you here quickly. We have uh, the Horizon story, but I posted that video earlier today. That's from the update, so that you can you can also see how I did it. Also, here we have two monthly rivals. Uh, they're letting us do a lot uh, this week, or maybe the next few weeks. I'll check that later. Um, if you do not really care about monthly rivals, just put um, your filter on everyone or your friends and just take the, the lowest in the list and just do a lap without hitting a wall. Uh, this one I will do during the week to qualify. And then let's go to the PR stunts. There is no danger sign this week, so I cannot fail on my video this time. Now, let's have a look here. You need a certain speed. I just started from here. I used the car. I, I really like McLaren's, but it doesn't really matter. Just take an S2 car. Um, it's summer, so there are a lot of cars that are, are creepy. It doesn't really matter much. But I just took my McLaren. I don't know why, I just like that car. I'm a McLaren fan in this game, also Porsche. So you just start from here. You can actually keep this car in fourth gear. And you will get it. The car has uh, the speed. Yeah, you can of course uh, shift and you get a higher speed, but it doesn't matter. Even in fourth gear, uh, you will have that so that's the mclaren p1 that i use then that's the drift zone that I'll, I'll show you that in a moment we also have here this one now i'll be honest i always take my hoonigan mostly an s2 but uh, this time i actually try to take <coughs> the hoonigan an s1 You can take the S2, but I took the S1 to actually test if I could get it, and it's possible an S1 also. So basically, you can take a car that you like. You can shortcut this little part. In my previous video, I failed to shortcut. Well, you could also shortcut it, but this time I have it. But as you can see, in an S1, you can also have it. That was definitely fast enough. Now, the next one here. Now, it's <coughs> pretty simple. <coughs> I watched that uh, what I used. Uh, I used the Dodge Fiber, but you can always look... The, the guys look for the Dodge Fiber. Um, I start from here, but doesn't really matter. It depends on what you do. 
you don't need that much points so it's it's not really uh, it doesn't really matter now I took the formula drift now it's a car pass car but there are a lot of other drift cars that you can actually use this is actually the first time I use a car pass car in my videos Uh, you can start from the other side, then you go downhill, um, it really doesn't matter. There are a lot of drift cars on dirt that you can actually use. If you really do not know which one, or you don't have this car, um, I'm really not paying attention at the moment at this drift zone, then you, you can always uh, take something else, maybe take something else quickly. I'll have a look at the car that I have tuned. I'm not sure if uh, my little Abarth will do it. Maybe I can quickly test it. It's gonna be a bumpy ride with a little Abarth. Yeah, the tires are very hard uh, for this one. But as you can see, the little Abarth can also use. You can use it, just be a little bit careful because it's sliding a lot. But this is already too much uh, points for what we need. So yeah, you can use this Abarth too. I'll put it in the description also. 